What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So we're focusing on uh, projected top number one overall pick, which is redundant. I know. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, Nolan Patrick missing the uh, WJC. He has been ruled out of camp and will not be cleared in time for the start of the tournament. He's only played six games in the season with the kind of weekends in his draft year and uh, has nine games in those those uh, six nine points in those six games. Losing my fastball, guys. So bad. If I was, I lost my fastball anywhere, I'd be David Price in the playoffs. But you know, you look at what Patrick brings to the table. He's that big center that you know does a little bit of everything, and you know is that team's cup it. You know, and I think he's a ideal number one. You know, pivot on a really really good team. Is he Austin Matthews? No. Is he Connor McDavid? Absolutely fucking not. But I believe he can be the first line center on a on a Stanley Cup winning team. And, you know, these injuries, you know, it's not exactly ideal. And, um, you know, I think still think he goes number one. I mean, I think uh, Lilligren's knocking on the door. But I think this is still Patrick's draft because his skill set's that good. And uh, his, you know, position and the onus put on centers in today's game is, you know, makes him a very valuable target for teams. Um, you know, that are looking to build a winner. So we'll see what happens again. But, um, you know, I hope he's cleared come January, February, so he can, you know, get back on the ice, help the brand of Weekings can continue to, um, you know, be a pretty pretty good team. His his run last year on the, uh, the run to the Memorial Cup was, was spectacular for an underage player. And, you know, hopefully he's uh, back out there sooner rather than later. Anyway. That's all I got. So to the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.